This particular suit I'm holding is the uh, turquoise that, uh, what they call the, the topaz that Kurt Russell had worn in the movie 3,000 Miles to Graceland. This red one here is the Burn and Love suit that Elvis wore in 1973 on tour. Uh, it was a favorite pattern of Elvis's. Uh, uh, this one here was called the Blue Swirl. I, I rarely wear this one, I guess because it's probably not one of the more recognized suits that Elvis wore. Uh, this one here is the white checker that Elvis wore in Madison Square Gardens. Uh, it was also debuted on the inside of the Aloha to Hawaii album. Um, it's, it's a nice suit. Um, I wear that one uh, uh, quite frequently. Well, I've never been to Spain. This year, as we get into the black suits, this was called the Shooting Star, or, or known as the Comet. Um, it's got a pretty cool pattern on it. Uh, great for nighttime shows. One that's probably favored by the fans the most is the Aloha suit that was widely recognized from Elvis's Via Satellite uh, Aloha to Hawaii concert. This is probably one of my uh, favorite suits right now, the Dragon suit. Um, Elvis had it in, in white. Um, I had mine made in black because I just happen to like the black suits and the, uh, the way the colors pop on it. Um, I'm having the tiger suit uh, done up in black right now as we speak. It should be here in another week. This is the powder blue suit that Presley wore on the album cover Moody Blue. It's known as the Moody Blue suit. that I'm going to wear today, the classic uh, suit from concert, That's the Way It Is, the uh, white fringe. Um, I like it in a daytime show because it's white. I'll stay cooler in it and it moves really well with the fringe and everything. It's got a really, really cool uh, motion to it when you're, when you're doing a concert. So I think this is the suit I'm going to wear today. Up prior to the shows, I have to go through a big transition to look like Elvis Presley. Uh, I didn't have some of, I was not blessed, I should say, with some of his attributes. Uh, my sideburns are a little bit thin, uh, but I do have the real blue eyes, uh, which is a, an asset. Uh, somewhat of, of some of Elvis's features, um, but I've, I've not had any surgery, so we're going to commence to the whole makeup process of of trying to transition from James Clark into Elvis Presley. One of the things I wanted to say is I'm always adamant about telling the fans during the course of the show that uh, I'm not Elvis Presley. There'll never be another one like Elvis Presley. He was one of a kind. 
He was a gift to the music industry, his family and friends and people that he loved and knew him. Um, but I'm just very pleased to be one of the top guys in the industry, uh, able to share his music and bring these live concerts uh, to parks and theaters where people can enjoy the music and the persona of Elvis Presley once again. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to start getting ready and, and uh, putting on the makeup. Uh, going to kind of widen out the sideburns a little bit here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put some eyeliner under the eyes and, and on the tops of the eyes, add a little bit of uh, face powder and, and things like that to kind of create that whole whole uh, uh, skin tone that Elvis Presley had. going to be exiting the building here at Graceland here real shortly to get on to the concert here. But this is uh, me uh, in full regalia now. Yeah. Hey Tom, there's some wrong to live.
Thank you very, very much.